hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I thing. see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right, see you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Meh. Well, at least not for now. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> No, but if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. I thought you high risks all stuck together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. So, I went to the mill last night, caught Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What, like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. 
I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great. What did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity's overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well... The Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. <gasps> but fire's so pretty. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am um, I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? 
Does that make me just the same as every other student here? I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Principal Wells. Hey. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm... Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? All right, sir. I'll see you after school. I'll count the minutes. That guy's a tool. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing, we murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was... Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and, uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey! Thanks, Carrie! No problem.
Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Dude, you need to freshen like a mofo. Are you saying I smell like weed? That's exactly what I'm saying. Word. Well, good looking out, Price. Want a hit? Like, right here? Thanks. Need my DVD from... Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess... I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyt's English class. 
I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. I really didn't mean anything. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Uh, many a time the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to- Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. 
No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? R.A. will suck as Prospera. If V.C. had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. What to say, what to say. Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. This poster definitely says <laughs> something. Hey now, sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously?
I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Sweet caller, Pepe. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Should be life is drama. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Just keeping it real. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. <laughs> Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class? You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. You 
sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, <laughs> Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel. There's my chair. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so, I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think... We should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll 
I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. So, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So, New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called The Misfits. Impressive. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo. He was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year? <laughs> Definitely. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits, I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth, no calluses. You don't play guitar. 
fitty, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. You told one truth and two lies. Maybe I just needed to test you. Or maybe you have trust issues. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. No, I mean you're really good at this game. It's kind of creepy. I have a hard time imagining what creeps Chloe Price out. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen? Bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Mm. Fuck it!
actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is what I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Looks like this one might actually be working. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders keepers, I guess. Yuck. Cliché much, A.W. and B.W.? Get out of here, woodland creatures! Have some self-respect. Bye, you fools! Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit. Wait, is that the same AW as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh, she's right there.
You know what's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. There's gotta be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Whoa, that's badass. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. I don't want to head down there just yet. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. Wonder if I can find something sturdier to use? That's not gonna work. I need to find something else. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. I'm gonna need a bigger prior majigger. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and what's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. Is there anything metal around here?
Stop sextanting the interns. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Got power, activate. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Hmm, what's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow, that was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? 
Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. <laughs> Jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute! Now who gets paid? <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it, I just want to take something that's not mine. All right, I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Better at Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel, run! What the hell? So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. <laughs> <laughs>